It's Francesca from Conscious Voltero. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel and clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be making a zodiac love and career reading for fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. So let's go ahead and get it started. First, I'm going to go ahead and start with love for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo for the end of the month. Okay, so I am seeing the main lesson here is a Saturn lesson. So you guys are actually being uh pushed this week a little bit in love so don't take it personal don't get frustrated in your connection or in your dating life because i am seeing that um around this time you're actually gonna be triggered to actually harness your um your confidence and also discern that discern like the way that like other people treat you so for example your options may become very strategic and they may trigger your self-worth so this may trigger you into feeling pessimistic about yourself or maybe potentially feeling a little bit unworthy but that's actually going to be orchestrated so you could actually heal um suppressed uh limited beliefs about yourself because around this time you're kind of like being reminded that you do deserve love that you are lovable and that you need to get out of some sort of like mental rut or some sort of limited belief that has kept you like feeling like the world is against you or that you know when it comes to love there's adversity but it's honestly i feel like it's what a lot of you guys are attracting a lot of you guys um could be like legit in a negative circumstance like physically or financially and this has just like worn you down um you know in your life and in your dating life but divine is here to remind you that these events are going to play out in order for you to actually come out of this and it's going to be important for you to actually like not take things personal like you're going to be going through a lot of breakthroughs in your love life this week and it's going to be important for you to stand in your own independence you know know who you are um keep your boundaries with other people uh, don't be over critical of yourself or others as well um especially in love i am seeing like specifically some of you guys need to also be like open-minded to other people don't be so quick to judge others use but use your discernment when you're getting to know other people as well it is going to also be important that whoever you're dealing with right now um try not to battle with them like try not to allow your guys temper or frustrations like um you know be, be ruthless to each other because i am seeing that there can be a struggle when it comes to getting on the same page with someone else so th this is actually intended for you guys to release any sort of repressed uh, limited beliefs and conditioning about yourselves but also so you guys could also heal and adapt to a new way of approaching your dating life so some of you guys could have restricted yourselves deliberately could have restricted restricted yourselves due to uh, some sort of karmic um, blockage that you had in your dating life and now um, these limitations are going to be released however first you have to pass through a, a test and this is going to be the test where you're going to have to pass your comfort zone your fear um, you know some of you guys also may be needing to focus more on your finances right rather than your dating life so it's going to be important for you to kind of like um implement self-discipline during this time in your dating life but there is someone that you're going to be you know inclined to either move towards or someone that you potentially can let go of because there's a strong magnetic connection so the truth is going to be revealed to you this week and it's going to be important for you to honor your truth but don't try to force yourself in a situation where um it's just not the right timing you know so um it's going to be important for you not to get upset if someone's not showing other hands or if they have other options this may trigger you so just you know um give yourself the space to heal um, look at the circumstances for how they are, um, but also don't go in over your head during this week when it comes to love, because like I said, it's just going to be important for you to st structure your, your finances, structure your confidence, hone your independence during this time, and don't feel as though, you know, the, the person that you're dealing with or your dating life, is it's a hardship, you know, it, it is just temporary, and this is like your final breakthrough, 
um, until you actually like meet someone or until you actually settle down. So, so yeah, this is happening in order for you to get clarity and, and understanding about um, the changes you need to make within yourself in order to have a successful dating life. So let's go ahead and move on to what's going to happen in your guys' career for the end of June. <clears throat> okay, so the lesson here and what you guys need to know for the end of June is that... One second. Okay. Is that you guys are actually being guided to... Um, one second. Okay, guys. So for career... You guys are actually going to have a really good week. It may not be revealed to you guys until like going into July. But for work, I do see you guys getting a lot of recognition. I do see you guys, some of you guys are going to be getting approved for a loan. Um, or some of you guys are actually looking for a home. And you guys are going to get approved for that as well. I'm seeing a lot of good news coming in for career. And what you're needing to learn during this time is actually how to uh, remain consistent and how to remain ambition. Your discipline is actually meant to be um, harnessed during this time and remain very methodical during this time. Your perseverance is going to actually um, be worth it because I am seeing that there could have been some delays in um, either like you seeing if like you were going to get approved for a loan or like seeing if you were going to get a new job or like get a promotion and there was like some time that you needed to wait but it's going to be coming at the end of the month here or going into july um so there's going to be big opportunities and big changes that you're going to have to also take advantage of some of you guys are going to have to uh, network with others in order to do so um, and it's going to be important for you to also use your um your assertiveness and your direct your directness with um with your you know your coworkers, your employers like if you want to raise like be very direct be very um clear and just be very honest about what you deserve here because i am seeing that your guys wish fulfillments are going to come true and you guys are going to be very satisfied and prosperous when it comes to your career during this time so you guys are going to get really serious about actually upgrading your money status um during this time and it's going to help you expand and actually like help you complete your goals. So like I said, some of you guys getting a home, some of you guys like relocating, some of you guys actually being able to purchase the things you've been wanting to purchase, but it's going to be success and victory during this time. So you want to take advantage of the of the perseverance that you're actually gaining during this time because you're going to you it's going to be like a momentum. Like you're going to be really excited like in love. Eh, it may not be the best week for love. But when it comes to career, like all your creativity, all your passion, your heart is going to be invested in your career during this time. So it's going to be really important to move forward um, with a lot of optimism and just be quick to obtain the opportunities that are coming for you, because it seems as though you're, you're going to have to um, you're going to have to grab them, you know. So I am seeing like some of you guys needing to vocalize this uh, needing to confirm with with other people so i'm seeing like a, a contract so needing to confirm that the contract is completed for others you needing to request a raise um for and for others if you are a business owner you needing to just do a little bit more networking and then you're going to be getting like a massive amount of clients so i am seeing that a lot of abundance is coming during this time you're going to be also getting rewarded um getting your achievements completed and you may also as a result to all of this, you may get a lot of praise, you know, so seeing a lot of you getting raised, I'm seeing a lot of you getting a second job, but you guys are going to get rewards. So either bonuses or just like more money than what you expected for, for the week. So this is pretty awesome. And it's just going to be really important to remain persistent. Um, don't allow your frustration to get to you or your pessimism to get to you during this time. Um, in the past, it just wasn't the right time for you guys to f uh, fulfill your finances. Then now it's actually happening. And it, it's, it's going to be more than what you actually expected and wanted. So 
overall the main message for you guys for the week is to show the world the real you so come out of your comfort zone show your skin to the world and show your talents and what you have to offer and do not uh, quiet your voice just to make other people comfortable and it's also time to take action here it's time to take action it's time to also be more physically active and it's time to um be um persistent in the things that you need to accomplish because you guys are going to have a lot of energy and you want to take advantage of this energy and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy the reading if you want a personal reading you can go to consciousvoltero.com and you can book your reading there with me take care bye star friends